time, Randy. Would you like to say something? Thank you, Chairman. I think if anyone's confused, confused it is Supervisor Canassi. We are not here to share our public credit card to advance costs on this birth investigation. That needs to stop, and that's why we're asking you all to take a stand today. We have a very simple resolution Supervisor Wilcox has already signed. It says, whereas the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors provide fiscal oversight to all departments, including the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Arpaio, where it has now been proven and established the fact that Sheriff Powell has used our taxpayer dollars to fund his birth investigation to determine whether President Obama is indeed a citizen of the United States, whereas this type of investigation is well outside the jurisdiction of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, the duties and responsibilities of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors, and whereas serious crimes that need investigation have occurred in Maricopa County, and taxpayers expect all available public resources be utilized to solve these crimes, therefore be resolved. The Board of Supervisors call on Sheriff Arpaio and MCSO to stop using taxpayer dollars to fund Sheriff Arpaio's investigation yeah. of President Obama's birth certificate. Yeah. It's a very yeah. simple yeah. resolution that you all have chosen. You all have chosen to do that. And yes, we are against donations. This is not, we don't want to privatize the Sheriff's Office. Yeah. We all pay for public dollars to, to hold them accountable. So what, so someone else goes in and say they give them $10,000, they can go investigate their own personal agenda? No, this is about holding public officials accountable with our taxpayer dollars. No, he can no longer advance on our dime, right. it's our money, and pay for someone to go to Hawaii where he says did literally nothing, and come back and say, well, oh, reimburse me on the backside. Someone bail me out and give me some money so we can pay for this. This is not what county government, and Canastic, you should know better than that. You understand how it works, so don't try to play as, oh, you don't want someone to donate some money and offset it. No, we don't. We want him to be responsible. We want you responsible. We call on you yes. to do this. So right now, we have a, we have a, in terms of who should be funds, Mary Rose Wilcox says, no, they should not be, uh, these public funds should not be used for that purposes. Chairman, I mean, Supervisor Connects, what do you think? Randy, I'm wondering, do you, do you want politicians to be able to direct law enforcement on what crimes to investigate and not investigate? Oh, could we have a conversation? I, I, think, I think for the, the discussion here today... The budget, the budget dictates priorities. So while you stay in silent on this, you're saying it's okay for our tax dollars, he asked the question, Chairman Wilson, to send a deputy to do nothing to go to Hawaii on a birth investigation. That's absurd. And how you cannot make that connection is beyond all of us. Right. So you have another question? Well, I, I was uh, it up. intrigued by one of the editorials in the newspaper today that suggested that self-righteousness often has a weird way of walling off its practitioners from the harsh fact that they are often just yeah. acting like clowns. So, so how's it working for you? So how's, how's it working for you? Serious, Mr. Perez. How's that working for you? And, and you were the first, well, we no, the first one to come to mind. In my well, you fit that bill just well, Mr. Canasta. <laughs> So I just want to be clear that before we leave, that you guys, are, you, the four of you, are, the three of you are for that. Four using public dollars for that purpose. You're for that. I'm correct you for giving it to Mary Rose for further on your agenda. Thank you for your comments. So we got, is that a no? That's a silence. Next time on our agenda is Blue Valley.